Hey everybody. So today is Friday and um, I said I would do an update on rheumatology, which I finished before my current rotation. Um, I figured today is as good a day as any because on Monday is when we find out our if we matched or not. And on Friday is when we find out where. And um, in keeping with a long and illustrious tradition, uh, there's going to be social events every night from Monday until Friday, and probably that whole weekend. So um, that means that I'm going to be really busy <laughs> um, doing awesome fun stuff for the next week or so, and um, I figured I should probably make the video that I promised um, before I get caught up in all that stuff. So rheumatology, um, it was my first clinical rotation after um, interviews and everything. Um, so I'd, I'd basically been out of any kind of clinical context for like 10 weeks before that. Um, and it, it's amazing how quickly your, your skills atrophy, you know, it, <laughs> you don't use it, you lose it. It's totally true. So, um, rheumatology was actually really good because, um, they, um, it, it was an elective rotation. So that means that the expectations were a little bit lower. I only carried one patient at a time. But it was really good because um, it's very systemic. So um, it helped me sharpen a lot of those skills that I'd kind of lost since medicine. And um, it, uh, by medicine, I mean internal medicine. It's jargon. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, it, it helped me to kind of get back into the swing of things. And then my uh, fellow was just absolutely awesome. I had a really good time working with her. And um, the rest of the team also was really nice, so um, it was it was overall a great experience. Although the hours were terrible, and by terrible I mean there was something required for us pretty much every day at eight, and then we never would round until like three. And rounds in rheumatology take forever. They want to know absolutely everything. Who they were seeing before, what their prior diagnoses were, how they were made. Um, there's all kinds of different things that can affect rheumatological factors. And so, like, it, it's very different than surgery. And um, I, I'd run into my, my friends that I met in the surgery department, and they would just laugh at me because, you know, it's just so different. And they know how much I like it. Um, the one really, really good thing that came out of that rotation was, um, during one of our many clinic days, we had three clinic days a week, which was a lot. Um, during one of our many clinic days, I was, uh, staffing a patient to an attending and he starts asking me what I'm doing and where I want to go and all this kind of stuff. So I tell him I'm going to surgery and I either want to stay here or I want to go to this other place that's kind of across town. <laughs> And um, he goes, oh, well, you know, my wife is, my wife's brother is the program director over at that other program. So if you would like me to put you in contact, I can do that. And um, it's recommended if you're really serious about going to a place that you do a second look. Um, basically, the, um, the interview day, you get a very brief glimpse of what the program's actually like. So if you go and do a second look, it gives you another chance to meet the residents. It, it gives you just more of an opportunity to see what the program's about. It also communicates um, how deeply committed you are to you know potentially going there. And so um, I had been trying to organize this second look and the program coordinator was kind of giving me the runaround and you know taking a really long time to respond. So it was getting really frustrating. And I had this exchange with that attending and within an hour and a half, two hours, the whole thing was scheduled, it was ready to go. And um, it also was a nice way for me to pipeline my interest straight to the program director without actually having to tell him because technically we're not supposed to do that. Or at least they're not supposed to ask us. You can volunteer that kind of information, but legally they, they can't ask you where else you've applied, where you're ranking them and all that kind of stuff. It's um, There's a lot of very specific rules for it. So um, it was it was pretty cool um, to to get that kind of inside track because you know as time goes on a lot of it really is who you know um, and you know it just it made me feel better about getting my my first or second choice um, when match day comes around um, you know I, I ultimately well no I'm not, I'm not going to share what my rank list ultimately looked like um, I'm I don't know I don't. 
all of my classmates want to talk about match day and you know how we rank things and what we think is going to happen and like blah 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 I really just don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> um, so uh, I went out last night with a couple of friends of mine and we played trivia. And um, trivia is every Thursday night. Next week is going to be the day before match day. And um, one of our other friends is having a potluck, but like I don't think I want to go to that because everybody's going to be so keyed up. All That's all they're going to want to talk about is match day and what, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow and like blah, blah, blah. As far as I'm concerned, it's done. It's only a matter of, of just waiting until we get those envelopes. And my plan personally is to try to show up on time, um, down a couple glasses of champagne, grab that envelope when it's time to hand them out, take it and run. And I'm going to go open it somewhere else. And, and whatever reaction I have is I, either it's going to be mine alone or I'm going to share that with my boyfriend because, you know, we, we did the whole couples match thing. But regardless, I don't want a, like a huge public display. And it's kind of interesting because um, other places they have like a full on ceremony where they hand you the envelope and you like open it and read it on stage. And like, I, <laughs> I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> I want to, you know, come to terms with my decision and then I'll, I'll either celebrate or commit suicide depending on what it says. I'm just kidding. I won't commit suicide. But um, if I do need to, to have a moment of mourning, I'd rather have that be private than share it with everybody. Um, so, rheumatology, um, rheumatology, it was, it, it's an interesting field, um, you know, the whole immunology thing, it's, it's kind of a new thing in medicine, in a sense, um, there's still a lot we don't know about the intricacies of how the immune system works, and, um, you know, there, there's a lot of ties to infection and, um, malignancy and stuff, you know, the stuff that's not entirely understood, so, um, I mean, I, I, I wanted to do the rotation because I, I feel like there's a lot of autoimmune disease around me. My dad's had rheumatoid arthritis forever, and my, my best friend um, has a, another autoimmune condition, and, um, you know, it, it just it felt good to, to learn more about it. Um, and also, like, the disease-modifying drugs and everything. It, it's, it's really, really not applicable to surgery, but... When I signed up for the rotation, I was thinking that it would be a good thing to do because I'll never really see it again, and it's interesting, and even though it's not super useful, I mean, it's still good stuff to know. Um, so after that, now I'm on cardiology, and um, I'm in the uh, cardiac care unit, so like basically the ICU specifically for um, cardiac, for like heart conditions, and um, when I signed up for it, I had perceived cardiology as being a real weak point of mine, but after all the cardiothoracic surgery rotations that I've done, <laughs> which is a lot, <laughs> I've done a lot of it at this point, um, it's not actually as useful a rotation as um, I had anticipated. Um, good news is, you know, we, we get out early on a, a fairly regular basis. Um, like today I, I stayed until 3, which is rare. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's good. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I should have done infectious disease, I think. And, um, that, that would have been a better use of my time. Either that or tried to reschedule radiology for right now. That also would have been a good use of my time. But, um, yeah, rheumatology is good. People, people communicate, um, really nicely with their rheumatologists. And then, um, something that made me feel good was every time there was a clinic day, at least one patient would be like, oh, are you are you going to be here in a couple of months? Like, can I see you next time? And, um, you know, unfortunately with the nature of the rotations and everything, like I don't, I don't stick around that long. So, you know, that was sad, but, um, made me feel good about my clinical skills that, you know, people A, didn't pick up that I'm still a med student and B, um, were sufficiently impressed with me that they would want to see me again. Um, so yeah, next week I'm going to be all involved in match day stuff. Um, so don't expect a post then. I'll try to do it, um, before I leave on my vacation. Um, and that'll be the last one of med school, which is kind of crazy. Um, you know, true to form, I'm not going to reveal what match results ultimately said, except to say that if I'm happy or sad about it. Um, until then, I hope everybody's doing well and I will see you in a couple weeks. Bye.